Hi, hi, yo, Choice here. Thank you so very much for joining me again. Thank you so much. Stay focused. No matter what the stage looks like, no matter the story that you see on the news, stay focused. That means stay true to your own narrative. Stay true to your own narrative. Remember, I always say, turn your head, turn your head. Turn your cheek. <laughs> Whatever they have going on, that's their story. The Most High. The Most High, the creator of all creation, the God that flows through each and every one of us has this all has this cover but remember this not but with this said know that the laws that are in place are ones that honor our free will the laws that the Most High put in place honors our free will. So, though God got all of this, but the chaos seems to be, it's not really chaos. It's things coming in order. Okay? But if you repeat the narrative that is given, if you, if you choose to give over your energy and your power to that other stuff, with what's going on with the virus, who's got what, this is, this is, this is a, a game coming to the end. This is a game that actually has already ended. And we were given instructions to navigate this divine game. Okay? But it was taken. But all of it is written within us. It runs through our veins. It's in our blood. All the codes for how to, to deal in this narrative is within us. We get Law, we, we, we must at least know the universal laws, the spiritual laws that govern what's going on here. There was a movie written that ended up being a, a franchise of great, great movies that altered the way the world thinks. It was written these stories were written by a black woman. The stories were written by a black woman around 1999. The name of her movie was called The Third Eye. Something like that. A powerful movie was called The Third Eye. But after it was stolen, people that were looking for a new sci-fi movie, she submitted her movie to these people. Remember, the Most High has this. So though they took her movie, and, and, and I don't know how much they've made off of it already, but just to, to give you a little insight, we are all familiar with the movie called The Matrix. We're all familiar with the movie The Terminator. That information, that download, that insight came through the mind of a black woman. came to inform us on what's to come and how things will 
you know, how what's really going on. She came with the information and you had these these other people that took it and called it their own. But they don't have that vision. Those visions are not given to them. They can't tell you anything about it. But they knew enough to steal it. So the Matrix, the Terminator, that series to inform us, to educate us, to let us know God's purpose for us. And it was written by a black woman to inform her people. We're always given insight as to what to do and what to do and what it's all about. That Neo supposedly or whoever whomever the savior is supposed to be in that movie is that only of a black man a black man but they never want to empower or awaken the great power that's in the 